This weekend, Donald Trump referred to Nikki Haley several times when he meant to say Nancy Pelosi. Haley said the switcheroo was a sign of his mental decline. She'd have had a cleaner case if Trump had meant to be talking about his sons or something totally different. Because Haley and Pelosi are not that different. They are both women who challenged Donald Trump. Trump's patterns there are pretty consistent, whether it's political rivals who are women or members of the press like Megyn Kelly, Maggie Haberman, or Mika Brzezinski. First, he says the women are not very smart. He has some nicknames along these lines about Haley. Women in the workplace will recognize this from their experience over the ages. Black Americans recognized this same play in Trump's lie in 2011 that Barack Obama was not born in America. Both play on the prejudices of those who believe women and minorities don't belong in important positions. Trump has tried a version of birtherism on Haley. Her parents are immigrants. He's also made fun of her first name and when asked about it, referred to, quote, wherever she may come from raising questions about where she was born, which is South Carolina, which he knows. This isn't the first female former cabinet official Trump has belittled this way. After Treasury Secretary Elaine Chao resigned from his administration after January 6th, Trump made fun of her name. When I was young, some people deliberately misspelled or mispronounced my name, said Chao, who was born in Taiwan. Asian Americans have worked hard to change that experience for the next generation. He doesn't seem to understand that, which says a whole lot more about him than it will ever say about Asian Americans. What does this pattern say about the likely GOP nominee? A candidate who plays on racial and sexist stereotypes when minimally threatened. There's a name for that.